but um, we we just want to shift gears a bit and, and just think about, so last week I brought up the fact that, um, you know, social media tends to create um, um, anxiety disorders, right? And and they can they can show themselves in, in various ways, but but somebody feels like Jack's like I'm I'm a loser because I'm comparing myself to a bunch of other people I follow, and look at the lives that they have, look at how amazing uh, their their lives are, and so and so this 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 compar- co- co- comparison thing uh, creates anxiety in other people because they look at their lives and it doesn't look like the lives that they see of people on on, on social media. Um, or, or you might just have anxiety because you're looking at your parents and and you're comparing another kid's parents through how that kid displays themselves on social media. You know what I mean? And, and that's 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 the deceptive thing about social media that you won't even see their parents, but then you you made up an entire world about how how much money their parents have because of how they are on social media. And therefore, you start looking at your own family and you think, shucks, we, we're going to be in a hole for the rest of our lives. Like, we're going to live in a cave. Um, and, and, and that creates, that creates anxieties, you know. And, and, and anxiety disorders is, is one thing, but obviously, it, it could lead to very detrimental um, um, places. And, and one of those places that I wanted to just highlight on is, is, is suicide. So there's a... There's a show I'm watching now. <laughs> I mean, calling it a show makes it sound like it's special. Uh, but, but anyway, I like it. Don't judge me. It's called Komora on, on um, Zanti Magic. I think it plays on Zanti Magic. I watch it on show next. Anyway, but it's quick. I'll give you a quick story. So there's this kid from Santin whose dad died. So she had to move back to Alex um, with, her, with her grandmother. And so she's dealing with a lot of anxiety because she used to be the rich girl who now lives in the hood. And now she has to go to a school in the hood, right? Uh, anyway, fast forward, um, she does things that she's not supposed to do and sends pictures she's not supposed to send to a boy. Um, and somehow one of her friends gets a hold of those pictures and they leak the pictures. And everyone has those pictures, you know? So they, they've been shared everywhere on all social media platforms, anywhere she goes, you know, people are looking at her like, oh yeah, no, we, we know, we know what kind of girl you are, whatever. Anyway, so, so that really messes up with her, you know, and, and this week, um, cause the, her, the storyline of the picture started, I think like two weeks ago. Anyway, so this week, uh, she eventually got to a point where she was like, sheesh, I can't deal, you know, because now everyone on social media thinks I'm a tramp, I'm, whatever, whatever, all the bad names that I'm not going to mention. Um, but, and, and so her anxiety grew to a point where she was like, I, I'm just going to take my life to end this thing. Um, and, and so you see just like the, the, the nature of social media and just this bully kind of um, approach to, to doing things online. Um, again, because there's a screen and people tend to think that they can be God and they can throw insults and, and, and bad names and words at people because they, they can't perceive that they'll be immediate consequence. So, so you, you can see how this thing can really go south very quickly, you know? Um, and, so, and so we wanted to say again, um, if that's where you are, or if you know a person who's there, for example, um, you know, we, we, we want to say, hey, let's, we, we can pull them out. We can save a life. Um, again, social media is not what you made for, even if people are saying stupid things about you on social media, or if there is anxiety because you've compared yourself to, to all your friends and you've made up stories in your mind about how their lives are compared to yours. Hey, listen, you, you can come out again. Like we said last week, it doesn't have to end at a point where, um, you, you've basically equated your life to the worth um, that social media gives you, you know. So if you're not getting that worth, that means your life is is is, is doesn't have value anymore. And that's not the truth. I, again, it's not the truth based on Genesis one twenty seven. It's not the truth, again, based on on what Jesus has done. And so I just wanted to to read First Corinthians um, uh, chapter one and two. I mean chapter two, rather verses one and two. 
just to encourage you and then to kind of give us uh, a segue into our groups and then we can we can even flesh out that conversation some more there but the big thing i want us to do in our groups is to pray this prayer about how social media is is impacting the world particularly teens let's pray about how social media um you know it is good uh, to an extent but can be used for for such great evil uh, and let's pray let's pray that god will help us uh, and how we use it let's pray that god will will pull our teens who are stuck in there especially teens who might even be contemplating taking their lives but listen to what paul says first corinthians 2 1 uh, and 2 and then when i came to you brothers did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of god with lofty speech or wisdom Verse two, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Uh, verse two is really what I wanted to focus on and how Paul says when he came to Corinthians, uh, to the Corinthians rather, to Corinth, he did not choose to know anything among them except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I, um, two things there. One is that Paul is saying that he made a resolve, right? Um, so he made a decision before he even got to Corinth that he will choose to know nothing among the Corinthians except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Uh, for those who don't know, but Corinthians was probably a city that is like social. If you think of social media and how social media is loud and everyone has an opinion and everyone wants to show off and everyone thinks that they have the best speech or whatever the thing is, C C Corinth was like that. If you go to Corinth, and and you couldn't you couldn't um, um, uh, what's what's the word now? But but they basically showed off with their um, is it art, oratory skills? Yeah. But how how they spoke, the wisdom that they have, um, and so they'd go into the town square and they'd show off. This is the knowledge I know. This is the poet I read. This is the author I have read. You know this, and they'll speak um, about just philosophical ideas. And so there's a lot of things that people wanted to show off. And here's Paul, right? If you read Philippians, Paul probably had seven PhDs. This guy was the youngest Pharisee. In terms of righteousness, he said, like, nobody could beat it uh, when it comes to the law and how he kept it to the T, you know? So if Paul had anything to show off, this was probably the city that he would go in and display all his accolades and say, look at all the amazing things I have. But he says, I chose, before I even got there, I made a resolve, I made a decision to just know Jesus Christ and nothing else. I didn't want to I don't want to say look at the holiday I've been on, look at the knowledge I have, look at the clothes I have. I chose to know nothing else but Jesus Christ and him crucified. So I want to say to you, make that resolve. Make that resolve now even as we end this 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 meeting right now. Choose in your heart that you will choose to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Meaning that it's not that you're going to be preaching that Jesus is crucified all the time, but that's going to govern everything you say, everything you look at, how you, how you post, how you interact with people on social media, because that's what we're speaking about. Um, and, that, and that you will choose life that God gives you through Christ. You know, when Paul speaks about Jesus Christ who was crucified, he's crucified so that you can have life. And so you'll choose to know nothing else but Jesus who gives you life. So even if social media depresses you to the point where you want to take that life, remember Jesus died so you can have life and have life abundantly. So choose to know nothing else but that truth. Say to your heart right now, you know, say your name, Ella, Jenna, James, whatever. I choose to know nothing else but Jesus Christ and him crucified. So that when Satan or what Rafili reminded us of, your deceitful heart comes and whispers lies to you, you will say, no, I've already made the decision. I've already made the choice. I want to know Jesus and nothing else. Jesus, the Jesus who was crucified. And the second thing is, how do you act upon that decision? You know, we, we, we don't just wake up one day and decide and, and just start acting out stuff. No, no, you've made a decision in your mind. You know, if, 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 you, if you're going to go into, into an exam room, um, if, if you fail, like dismally, like you really fail, right? At some, some point you made a decision to fail, right? Um, and, and it's either you decided to sleep when you were supposed to be up and, and studying, uh, or, or, or rather you even just decided in your mind that this thing is going to kill me. 
Um, and so you tend to act upon those decisions that you made. And I think the principle is the same here. Choose to know Jesus and him crucified and nothing else, and therefore act upon that decision. Um, so, so, so I would say to you, if you're really in a dark place, here, here's God calling you, right? Here's God saying, I, I gave you my one and only begotten son. Choose to know that truth. It's a choice. You have it. Social media cannot hold you captive. You're not a slave to social media. You have that choice, this freedom. Choose to know Jesus Christ today and him crucified and nothing else among the world, among social media, among your school friends, among all your other friends, that you'll know Jesus Christ and him crucified. And that, that will, will, will encompass your whole life and how you, you live, your attitude, uh, the way you speak, the way you see things, the way you care for people comes from that one decision that you make. So, so let's get it into our groups um, and pray in light of that. Let's pray that we can all get that truth. Pray that friends of ours, like Jenna reminded us, who are stuck in the social media hellhole, that, that they will know Jesus Christ and him crucified and nothing else. And let's pray boldly. Let's pray with, with knowing that God hears us. Let's pray believing that God will do this and save them because he's in the business of saving and, and, and pulling people out of darkness. Um, so let's, let's pray with much conviction. And if you want to chat to us um, as you speak in the groups, remember, we, we all here, the leaders that you're going to be in the groups with are there for you. Gareth, myself, Lauren are there as well if, if you want to have a conversation off of Zoom. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do that. Mags, if you can put us in the groups um, or just explain to us how, how the groups are going to work. Cool, guys.